Procreate versus Sketchbook Procreate and Autodesk Sketchbook are pretty well-known drawing software. In our video today, we will compare them in an attempt to determine which is best. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Software Overview Let's start off by getting to know these two software on a basic level. Procreate Procreate is a one-time purchase raster graphics editor application for $9.99 US dollars. Its uses are varied. It can be used for all kinds of illustration, 3D model painting, basic animation, lettering, calligraphy, and digital scrapbooking. Procreate is exclusively available on iPad and iPhone. The developer reiterated countless times that, for the moment, there are no plans on working on Android support. The app was around as early as 2011, but it rose to popularity in the mid-2010s and solidified its place in the art industry, becoming a household name ever since. Sketchbook Sketchbook is also a raster graphics editor used for illustration. It is available on both Android and iOS devices for free. It is also available on Windows and Mac. However, it is paid, costing $19.99 US dollars. On the app version, you can purchase a premium bundle for $0.99 US dollars one time, which will add extra features such as importing and exporting brushes, additional color harmonies, and layer grouping. You might already be familiar with this software. It used to be Autodesk Sketchbook. Now just Sketchbook. That aside, unlike Procreate, Sketchbook has been present and popular among artists for a long time now. For the sake of fairness, we will only compare the app version to Procreate. Interface In this section, we will take a look at how each software presents to the user. Procreate Procreate's interface is in gray with white detailing. It sports a simple and minimalist look and feel. In Procreate's interface, everything is neatly tucked under several icons, which are all on the top and only toolbar. These icons are a wrench for canvas-related options, a magic wand for effects, a squiggly line for selection options, a cursor for transformation options, a brush for, well, brushes, how smart, a hand for smudging, an eraser, and two stacked paper for layers, and a circle with a given color for the color wheel and color-related options. On the left side, we have yet another bar, albeit small. It has sliders, one for changing brush size, the other for opacity. In between the sliders is a rectangle which activates the color picker. Under the sliders are the undo and redo buttons. Lastly, and naturally, the center is for the canvas. Sketchbook the color of Sketchbook's interface are in a mix of white and medium-dark detailing. The app also sports a sleek design that is easy on the eye, similar to Procreate's. Sketchbook has three bars, one on the left, one on the top, and one on the right. The one on the left hosts an assortment of different brushes and erasers of the software. On the top of the bar, we have a brush icon. Once clicked, we'll prompt a panel with a full library of brushes and a tab for brush customization. The bar at the top has a mix of quick actions such as undo, redo, preferences, fill, symmetry tool, and so forth. The bar on the right is where the layers and color options are situated. Sketchbook also has this little flow Loading and movable mini panel, which helps you quickly change the size, opacity, and color of the brush as well as the brush type itself. Sketchbook's interface is just as sleek and sophisticated as Procreate, making them end up in a tie in this section. Tools and Workflow Procreate Procreate's tools and workflow have a focus on the target of the app. Illustrators. This manifests in the strong brush engine of the app, marrying versatility and customizability. The software has a wide range from brushes for inking to all kinds of textured brushes, all of which are customizable. Other Procreate tools include, but are not limited to, shape transformations, selection, effects, various types of grids, five different types of color wheels, the ability to create palettes from images, and the option to customize your eraser to look like a certain brush giving you the possibility of applying an artistic effect to a painting. Overall, the app is well equipped to serve painters, illustrators, and other creatives in the 2D realm really well. Sketchbook Sketchbook rivals Procreate's brush engine in its versatility and customizability. Sketchbook's library of brushes hosts brush types from textured, painting, to inking brushes. Another great tool is the customizable symmetry tool. Sketchbook also has a text tool, a well-rounded and easy-to-use perspective tool, various selection methods, shapes, two types of color wheels, and various color options, three types of rulers, a regular ruler, editable curve ruler, and an ellipse ruler. 
The app also has a small circle at the bottom which hosts different quick actions that can help make your workflow efficient, such as undo, color picker, and eraser. Sketchbook can easily rival Prograde's tool and workflow, especially since it is available for free. The two apps also have a lot of similarities, and you won't struggle if you were to use both and move from one to the other. In addition, other features can be made available by purchasing the premium bundle of the app, which includes, but is not limited to, duplicating and organizing brushes into sets, extracting color palettes from images, layer grouping and masking and so forth, all of which are available in Procreate without additional cost. However, Sketchbook is free to begin with, and the premium bundle is only 0.99 US dollars for a one-time purchase, so that not only evens out things, but rather gives Sketchbook the upper hand. However, Sketchbook seems to be extremely prone to freezing and lag, especially when a painting brush is selected and used in a big size. So keep this in mind, you'll be getting awesome features that rival Procreate for free or dirt cheap, but you might encounter bugs and freezing. Learning Curve Procreate We have said it time and time again. Procreate is easy to learn and get used to, so it has a fairly light learning curve. And on top of that, it is very popular, so tips, guides, and full-blown tutorials of all kinds are available for the app. So learning curve isn't something you'll be needing to worry about with Procreate. Sketchbook Since Sketchbook behaves and looks a lot like Procreate, you'll find that using it and learning about it won't be much of an issue. Sketchbook has also been around for quite some time now and is also popular among artists, so you will also find tutorials on it here and there frequently. So just like Procreate, Sketchbook's learning curve isn't too much of an issue. Final Verdict Throughout the video, Procreate and Sketchbook ended in a tie in several aspects. The two apps are very similar to each other, so no surprise there. The main big difference between the two is the versatility in the platforms, supported, and the price. Sketchbook is free on mobile devices and paid on Windows and Mac. As for Procreate, it is only on iOS devices and for a $9.99 US dollars. Here, Sketchbook wins for the most part, since it is versatile in supported platforms and free on the mobile ones. And nothing can be free because people like free stuff and who can blame them? The one thing to keep in mind is that Sketchbook can be buggy at times, so watch out if that is a deal breaker for you. You might want to pick Procreate over Sketchbook if you don't want to deal with bugs and freezing or if you need the 3D model painting features. Although this might sound silly, but since Procreate is more popular, it is really possible that you would gravitate towards it for that, as the community is very active and always sharing very cool and inspiring videos of what can be done in the app. This might inspire you to do work of your own. And that was that for our video. Did you think our winner was well deserved? Did we miss something? Do let us know in the comments. We would love to hear what you have to say. But that will be all from us for this video. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new today. And with that said, see you around.